Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Zombie Killer here, and welcome to the Project Demo Progress. I'm going to rub that out. That was the uh, 1.15. I was just testing things out. I heard about the, the bees adding into an update, and I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. So I wanted to see. I haven't really given much to much, I guess, credit to anything above 1.12. Now, if all the mods were updated and were matched to like 1.14.4, hell, I'll happily update to that version of Minecraft. But I can't control what other modders do. It's their, it's ultimately their choice. So until then, I, I'm sticking to 1.12.2. Uh, At the yawn. Yeah, this is the training area. One moment. Options. Oh, good. I'll just lessen it to, I'd say, 10. Welcome to the Crystal Camp training course, rookie. In here, you'll learn the ins and outs of both maneuvering and combat strategies. Hopefully, you'll prove to my other soldiers that choosing you wasn't a mistake, right? I'm ready for anything you could throw at me, Captain. That's what I want to hear. Now let's see you perform just as well in here. You'll learn the basic combat fundamentals of what we like to call the combat triangle. You will also learn how to use your environment to your advantage. Finally, you'll learn how to successfully study and recognize enemy behavior. Understood, Captain. Alright then, Rookie. Make us proud. I'll be keeping my eye on you to check your progress. Alright then, Captain. Alright then, Rookie. Here's your first lesson. The Combat Triangle. Here's the basics of it. Melee enemies are okay against melee. Great against range, but terrible against magic. Ranged enemies are okay against ranged, great against magic, but terrible against melee. Finally, magic is great against both melee and magic, but terrible against range. Think of this like rock, paper, scissors, if that makes this any easier to understand, rookie. Right then, so just pick the right type of attack for the right type of enemy, huh? Affirmatives, rookie. However, not all enemies will follow this formula. Enemies that cannot be knocked back but are melee are naturally resistant to their own preferred type, like a changeling brute, for example. Now, be sure to keep that in mind. Thanks. All right then, rookie. Here are an exa These are an example of magic using enemies. These guys are a special case, as in they don't always fight the way you'd expect a magic-based enemy to, despite their name. These guys are not the best marksmen, in fact they cannot even use ranged attacks for the most part, save for the sentry changelings. But they're an even mix of both magic and range, so either will work on them. I see, I'll be sure to remember that. Okay, rookie. These are an example of melee enemies. Melee enemies are usually just your standard enemy. Some may be more different than others. The normal changeling here is about as normal as you could get. They make up the majority of the queen's army. The brute changeling, however, is an enemy that you do not want to get too close to. They cannot be knocked back, therefore this makes them immune to their base type. Both are vulnerable to both ranged and magic attacks. Alright then, noted. These enemies are ranged-based enemies, Rookie. As their type implies, they use primarily ranged attacks, from bullets to potions to bombs. However, they're not scrappers and will most likely try to either run away from you or try to call for help. 
cornering them is a good strategy as that limits their mobility severely. Corner them, then a few well-timed melee attacks should finish the fight. If a ranged enemy is flying, they're immune to melee attacks. Try their own attacks on them, or just use a mag or just use magic on them. Right then, seems easy enough. That's all I have for the training course right now. I'm working on additional objectives. Shinings is required, but everyone else is optional. You can choose to take it if you want. If not, that's okay. Howdy there, Sugar Cube. Listen, we need some help to keep her vastly growing number of troops under control. The last thing we need is to be overrun by them through our camp. Sure thing. I think I can help. Thank you kindly, Sugar Cube. Every step we take is a step closer to helping our friends get... I mean, closer to getting our friends back and stopping that queen. Yeah, I agree. You there. It's good that I caught you in time. A recent platoon of our soldiers went into Crystal's castle, and after that, we never heard back from them. Knowing her, she's most likely made an example of them and then locked them away. Right, and you couldn't just send in another platoon? I don't think that'd be a very good idea, that player. The more we send over there, the less we'd have to protect our camp with. Right, and you want me to go in there and rescue them? Well, yes, that's exactly what I'm hoping you could do. You'd be really helping us out a lot. Fine, consider it done. Well then, you're the new pony I recruited. So then, I'll assume that you've read over the application then? Yes, I have, Captain Shining, sir. Please, just call me Shining. Formalities aren't really necessary. Since you've read over the application, I'll also assume that you're aware of how dangerous this mission is then. Yes, I am, Shining. Alright then, good. This is your last chance to back out. If you're going to take it, do so now. If not, then you're doing a very valiant thing indeed. Yes, I am prepared to do whatever it takes. Um, on second thought... This just exits and resets the, the dialogue. Alright then, soldier. This is your mission. Chrysalis, Queen of the Changelings, is once again up to her no good tricks. I swear, she's very persistent. She's planned everything out this time, however. Not only did she capture the four princesses, she somehow also managed to steal both our Crystal Heart and Flurry Heart's pendant as well. No doubt out of spite, wretched fiend. Without the Crystal Heart to protect our city, the frozen north's icy winds would completely cover it all up. Every pony would freeze to death. Look, I understand that we're asking a lot from just one pony. But some pony needs to stop her. With all that love magic that's in the Crystal Heart, She'd be literally unstoppable. She's also been experimenting with various and unusual changeling genetics, making new and even deadlier changelings, ones that we've never fought before. You'll need all the help you can get for this mission, soldier. Alright then, you can count on me, Shining. You're doing a very brave thing. I'll have you know. Okay, before you leave and go stop her, you'll need to prepare accordingly. Chrysalis is a cunning foe. She'll take whatever. She'll take advantage of whatever opportunity that'll present itself to her. I would personally recommend you go for training in my combat and obstacle course, which you're always welcome to attempt as many times as you feel you need to. After that, when you feel you're ready, we wish you luck out there. You'll need it dealing with her. All right then, I'll show her. Before Twilight got captured, we were trying to discover the exact properties of just what was in Crystals' magic crystals. Bright, lime green, and brimming with abundant power. Just imagine the possibilities of being able to discover their secrets. We could seriously put a damper on her plans for sure. Right, and let me guess, I'm your problem solver then? Well, I wouldn't personally use the term problem solver, but yeah, we could sure use your help getting them. 
and they should be found only in the Queen's Castle. Most likely hidden and well guarded. Any ideas as to where I could start looking? Well, I have heard uh, there are challenge routes in every level. If I stashed anything important somewhere, that's where I'd do it. And how exactly do you figure that? Ad player, please, don't question him, okay? Right, right, I'm the delivery boy, I remember. So, as you guys can see, I've been working on some much new changes. Uh, at least I like to think they're needed. I'll be finishing side objectives for everybody else. For Rarity, Rainbow, Fluttershy, Pinky, all of them. Not sure if I should do one for Tempest here. I might. But as it stands, I'm working on primarily the combat and obstacle course. That'll teach you the ins and outs of this adventure. And once you've made it through the, uh, the training, you'll meet with this guy. Congratulations, rookie. You passed the tutorial level with flying colors. Now it's time to go out there and do it for real. I'm redoing some patrols around here. That's why you don't see guards this time around. Where you would normally see them stationed. I decided to use different skins this time. This is what combat flow is supposed to look like. Now to have an ideal weapon. I think... Mm, I'd go with the magic boomerang. I honestly can't find anything better right now. For the purpose of the video being, well, just a demonstration. When you use the Z button, you target enemies. I'm not moving with the, with the camera if it's successful. Hold on. I think the button might have gotten reset. I'll look into that. This is when they, it looks like when they attack. You'll be dealing with large numbers a lot. So I'd get used to it if I were you.
as you can see, they hit pretty hard. This is why you should prepare accordingly. If they group up like this, they become much more difficult to beat. If you run over here, these guys will help you fend them off. Sometimes running away is an overall better strategy. That was kind of embarrassing. But yeah, Chris also lost a mock you. But that's what I mean where this game will be overall punishing if you just recklessly run in. You'll get your furry butt handed to you.
That's a brute. Doing melee like this won't do anything. But as you can see, if you use range, it deals damage. Well, you guys pretty much already know the, what happens ahead. But the base of my work right now is at the camp still. That would be the bomber thing. That pretty much wraps this up for now. Until I re release another updated video. I also brought Sunburst here to replace Starlight's position. I gave Daring some... Some time to walk around because, well... She's always standing in that shop. I might give her a, an objective. Maybe. But yeah, this just about wraps everything up. Oh, you could also talk to the Shining again. Report in. Have you retrieved both the Crystal Heart and Flurry's Pendant yet? No, not yet, Shining. Then gather everything you feel you need. Rest up if you have to. And get back to your mission. The fate of a Crystal Empire depends on it. Even all of Equestria. At one shining. Thank you. I'm going to fix that. Again. In, for your help. I mean for your efforts in helping our cause. That player. Yes sir. Right away sir. Why yes I did get them both back. Lie. Hey, don't lie to me. Both myself and Cadence could sense the heart's radiant magic if you had it on, on you if you did have it. Sorry for lying to you, Shining. It won't happen again. See to it that it doesn't, soldier. We're already on pins and needles here as it is. Just get back to your mission and quit goofing off, okay? Alright then, Shining. Haven't done anything for him yet. Or for, for Starlight. Like I said, I, I'm working on it. Wonder if I did anything for Applejack. Yeah, I did. Have you taken care of those changelings yet? We need all the help we can get here. No, but I'll have to get back on it. Yeah, please do so, I player. I appreciate the help, you know. Right then, I'll be on my way. Well, that's about all the time I have for this episode. And presentation. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you on my next demonstration. Peace.